PayPal launches a stablecoin on Ethereum. Is this the government-backed CBDC we've been waiting for? Gwen Lambo, I'm such a degen. Welcome to Degenny from the Blockchain, where we defy logic. And in this episode, we will go through the PayPal stablecoin news from a couple of days ago. And is this the centralized, government-backed CBDC that we've been dreading this entire time? Is it finally here in the form of a PayPal stable coin? Let's get straight to the news from August 7th. We have this from Reuters. Um, in the morning, uh, the breaking news was that PayPal launches a stable coin in a crypto push. Uh, we don't really have to go through much of this. It's just, uh, you know, pegged to the dollar. It's called uh, PYUSD. And uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's basically backed by the dollar. Um, one to one. And it's built on Ethereum. Okay. So if we go um, a day later, we have this from Cointelegraph. Says PayPal USD boon for Ethereum, but not decentralization, says community. Again, this is the next day, August 8th. Proponent, proponents say PayPal's PYUSD could see Ethereum become the money layer of the internet, while opponents argue that it'll act like a poorly designed central bank digital currency. So, I want to let people know that this CBDC narrative, um, I was thinking right when this news came out, but because I have a full-time job, I have a family, you know, super, super busy time right now for me at least. And uh, I just couldn't get this video out soon enough. But as soon as this news dropped, I was thinking, oh my gosh, this is the CBDC. This is the CBDC. It's not going to be built or, or it's not going to be um, used in the Fed now payment rail system that was launched. That was sort of like a distraction for this, the PayPal USD stablecoin, and it is backed by the US government, possibly. This, these are my thoughts when it first came out, literally, when I originally heard the breaking news on Investing Bros on uh, the morning of August 7th in their live stream. So anyway, that's just my, uh, my initial thought. And I have to prove this to my subscribers here because you would think I'm just riding on the coattails of this, this, you know, this article. Um, but remember, the original article came in the morning of August. Oh my gosh, these banners. Um, in the morning of August 7th, this thing launched. And the only, um, I didn't tweet anything about my take on this could be the CBDC. But, you know, all I really have for you is my topic bar that I use, that I used, that you saw in the beginning right here PayPal stablecoin CBDC. I created this topic bar for this specific specific video to be released just a few hours later. But again, because of a full-time job, I just could not get this out. But if you can see in my, you know, my files here, I created the PayPal graphic on Monday, August 7th at 4.07 PM. So this was the day before, or this was the day of this breaking news. I was thinking this, I created my topic bar, wanted to get this video out, but I could not. And then we have um, Cointelegraph breaking down how this could be a central bank digital currency. So, yeah, I mean, I was thinking this as soon as it came out. And we can go through, uh, there's a statement there by uh, Financial Services Chairman Patrick McHenry. This just kind of goes through, it's built on Ethereum and then it has a contract, it's launched. So, uh, but we get down into the, um, however, not everyone is convinced about PayPal's new stablecoin section, where it says several smart contract auditors highlighted that PYUSD smart contract contains freeze funds and wipe frozen funds functions, which they claim are textbook examples of centralization attack vectors in solidity contracts. That sounds super scary, super scary. In a tweet here from Pashoff, um, he says, or she says, the new PayPal USD stablecoin has an asset protection, whoops, I open it up there, has an asset protection role, which can wipe your balance in two transactions, first the freeze and then wipe frozen transactions. 
In a smart contract security, we call this a centralization attack vector. And you can see it, um, can't really show you there, but you can see wipe frozen address. Here, if we zoom in, there we go. Yeah, that is scary stuff. Balances, you see balance, frozen address wiped, supply decrease, transfer. That is scary. The ability to freeze your funds if you're using this new PayPal PYUSD stable coin, so essentially CBDC. So this concern was echoed by cryptocurrency researcher Chris Black who believes that PayPal will use the controversial functions where necessary. So PayPal, who are they getting their, their marching orders from? Is it the U.S. government? Um, yeah, digital asset layer Sasha Hodder believes many characteristics of PayPal stablecoin resemble that of a censorship-enabled central bank digital currency. Another smart contract auditor noted that PYUSD's smart contract can be changed by PayPal at any time. Oh, boy. That's scary stuff, but here, Sasha Hodder, she uh, breaks it down here. I just read the PayPal USD terms of service, full KYC custody by Paxos, tied to your uh, PayPal login. PayPal can reverse any transaction and claim to be fully backed by actual USD, all the censorship capabilities of a CBDC, but launched by big tech instead of the government. But I would not be surprised if the U.S. government is actually working with PayPal on this. You heard it here first. This could be the puppet strings of the government with PayPal. Why? Well, let's go back um, as a reminder here that in October, PayPal was slammed for a controversial policy that could have seen users find $2,500 for spreading misinformation. The firm later backpedaled, claiming the policy update was published in error. Sure, it could be an error, but when this came out, it was super scary, right? Misinformation. Why would a payments company uh, fine you $2,500 just for spreading misinformation? It, it's just weird. It's a payments company, right? You're just facilitating transactions. Why do you, you know, get off of that corner there of the misinformation? Let other platforms deal with that, right? Um, so yes, obviously, you know, PayPal's stablecoin is centralized here, says sassel.eth. And we know that USDT, Tether, and USDC, they're certainly centralized and have similar capabilities as PYUSD in terms of freezing funds or reversing transactions. I haven't really got into it. I just hear it on X Twitter and, uh, crypto YouTube, <clears throat> but yeah, I just wanted to kind of go through that this PayPal USD Yes, it's pretty cool and it could onboard a lot of people, but it also might be that central bank digital currency that we're all dreading that the U.S. government is trying to put out and that uh, the actual FedNow payment rail was kind of like a, or Fed, yeah, tr yeah, rail was kind of like a distraction. And really they were working with PayPal, the U.S. government was behind the scenes to launch this where they can freeze your funds, they can reverse transactions, and they can drain your PYUSD, or maybe even more, anything that you have in PayPal. Very scary stuff, we gotta be careful. And uh, I really wish I got this out sooner so I could be first on the beat on this opinion, on this hot take. But remember, you know, all I really have to, to back up my claim that I was you know, thinking about the CBDC narrative beforehand because I couldn't get my video out in time because of, again, work and family stuff, I can show you that I created this PayPal stablecoin CBDC question mark graphic topic bar for uh, a video I wanted to do on Monday, August 7th, but only could get it out a couple days later after the narrative of CBDC has kind of taken off. So, uh, but that's what I think. Certainly, I think this PayPal USD, because PayPal has shown in the past that they, you know, um, don't have your best interest uh, as a user all the time at the, the forefront, you know, could actually take back your funds, reverse transactions, freeze your funds. And this is exactly what everybody's been talking about with a central bank digital currency. So this has U.S. government written all over it to me. So uh, I actually think it might come out sometime in the future that PYUSD is something that was sort of created by the U.S. government, and PayPal was just in cahoots with the U.S. government. So, 
what do you think? I mean, I know it's pretty wild, but, um, you know, PayPal just doesn't launch a, a stable coin out of nowhere like this, even with, you know, some rumblings that this could happen. You know, it doesn't just come and go with no pomp and circumstance, really. It wasn't built up. It wasn't really seen uh, coming, you know, and uh, could this be the workings of the U.S. government and trying to kind of slip this thing under the radar to people so that they uh, get into Web3 and crypto through the government slash PayPal instead of, you know, the traditional ways that probably you and I have done it through at least Coinbase and, uh, you know, maybe some decentralized platforms or Binance or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Is this just the a subtle next layer of choke, choke point 2.0. Let, let me restate that in case anybody's going to clip this. Could PYUSD in the PayPal stablecoin just be the next subtle layer of choke point 2.0 by the U.S. government? Time will tell. Let me know what you think below in the comment section. And always do your own research because this is not financial advice. It's just my blockchain reaction. Thank you for watching. Hey, thank you for watching to the very end. And before you go, please subscribe to the channel, crank up that like button, drop a comment and share the video. If you want to join me on the View It platform, the Web3 streaming platform, I'm going to migrate all my content over there and create new content on the blockchain. My referral link is in the description below.